Natural church development is not a marketing gimmick to get more people to attend church. Rather, it's built around a spiritual compass that helps you experience God in His fullness, especially those aspects of God's nature you have yet to discover. At the same time, it enables you to view the world through new lenses. Once you have learned how to utilize the Trinitarian compass, you will clearly see where you need to grow in your relationship to God. You will also understand why other believers think, feel and act very differently than you and how the steps that are important for your spiritual journey might be inappropriate or even counterproductive for others. The Trinitarian compass is rooted in God's threefold revelation. The creation revelation, the green segment in our diagram, the salvation revelation, the red segment, and finally the personal revelation, the revelation in the Holy Spirit, the blue segment. In order to understand both the theological roots and the practical implications of natural church development, it's important to understand the specific character of each of these three revelations. According to scripture, God revealed himself as creator by leaving the marks of his character on creation. By the way, you don't have to be a Christian in order to encounter this type of revelation. Whether you are a Muslim, a Buddhist, an atheist or a Christian, when you turn to creation, you can see the fingerprints of the creator. However, on the basis of this form of revelation alone, no one will come to the realization that the creator is the father of Jesus Christ. The salvation revelation, the red zone in our diagram, has a different character. Jesus is the one in whom we definitely see God for who he really is. In Christ, God became man. In him, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. He is the one who reconciles us with God. Through him, we receive eternal life. We refer to the personal revelation, the blue zone in our diagram, as the time when what God did for us objectively in Christ becomes a personal, a subjective reality. Through the Holy Spirit, Christ for us becomes Christ in us. The revelation of the Holy Spirit is the revelation in our hearts. It happens, for example, when a person becomes a Christian. Natural church development seeks to reflect all of these three colors. We distinguish the reflective, the proactive, and the affective sides. The focus of the green zone is on tolerance and social justice. Topics like science, art and politics have a prominent place in this color segment. The focus of the red zone is on evangelism and discipleship. Topics like scripture, devotions and personal ethics play an important role here. The focus of the blue zone, finally, is on emotional health and spiritual power with topics such as worship, signs and wonders, and spiritual experiences. The message behind the Trinitarian compass is a message of spiritual balance. As all three color zones are equally important, the constant challenge is to identify which one is least developed. When you focus on strengthening that area, you automatically contribute to greater balance. This applies to you as an individual, as well as to your small group, to your church, and to your whole denomination. There is always one area that is less developed than the other two and demands your special attention. Question. Do the figures in this picture move in the same direction or in different directions? When asking this question in conferences, about 50% answer different directions, while the other 50% opt for the same direction. Now, from a linear point of view, only one of these two answers can be right. But within the logic of the Trinitarian compass, both answers can be correct at the same time. In fact, all of these figures move in the same direction, which is toward the center. But depending on their individual starting points, they have to take different, sometimes even opposite directions to get there. We should be careful not to project the growth path that has been helpful for us on other believers. Everyone needs to take a different path in order to experience spiritual growth. This holds true for individual believers 
and it holds true for whole churches as well. Moving closer to the center. Reflecting all of the three qualities in our lives. In a way, that is what natural church development is. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you.